and one and all, I'm Alexis, aka The Sloth Reader, and I'm here today to do the Spring Unhaul Book Challenge. This was created by Books and Lala, so I'll have her video linked down below. You guys know I frequently unhaul books off of my shelves, and even though I just did one like three months ago, I saw this and I was like, what a great time to unhaul some more. With this video, I have a lot of ones. Uh, I kind of doubled up on a lot of them too. So I'm getting rid of a lot more than 10 books, but that's okay with me. So so for the first one, which was a boogie rated low, um, I don't really hang on to books that I like dislike strongly or that I rate really low, except for like very rare occasions with like the Shattery series. You guys know I didn't love that, but I have a whole series and I genuinely just love the covers. So like I'm gonna keep them for now until I desperately need the shelf space. I'm gonna keep them. You guys know I didn't really like the Night Circus, but I have a first edition like hardcover that I bought at like an event for it. So it's like, I don't want to get rid of that. The book I've decided to get rid of is The Mothers by Britt Bennett. I actually gave this a 3, a 3.5, so it wasn't a terrible book. Um, but one of my main complaints about this book was that it was really forgettable and I don't see myself picking this up ever again. Um, so like I enjoyed the read of it. I'm excited to check out more by Burt Bennett in the future, but I don't need to have this on my shelf. Number two is a book that you changed your mind about, and I actually do have two answers for this one. The first one is, uh, gonna shock a lot of people, um, but that is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Um, when I first read this book, I loved it. I was like, oh my god, best book ever. Um, that was like three years ago. And really since finishing this book and sitting on it, I've realized that there were a lot of things I was actually super unsatisfied with. Um, the ending in particular was really unsatisfying with me and so I kind of have had a negative opinion about this book ever since then. And I just, I know I'm never gonna reread it because I didn't really enjoy it that much. So I, I don't need to have this. The next one I'm going to mention is Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews just hilarious because I actually was like on the hunt to find this edition of this book and now I'm getting rid of it. Uh, but I really loved this book when I first read it. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so funny. It's so unique. And I, I realize now that it's really not either of those things. I'll never reread this. If I want to revisit this story, I probably could just watch the movie. I just, it, it was great when I read it, but I'm not, I'm not ever gonna reread this again and I probably wouldn't like it if I did. So the next question was a series you won't be completing and I just I didn't have an answer for this one. Um, all of the series that I decided I wouldn't be completing I either own all of the books that I like have read up to and enjoyed. Like I'm not gonna read Girl of Nightmares which is the sequel to Anna Dressed in Blood. I'm just not interested but I still have Anna Dressed in Blood because I still liked Anna Dressed in Blood. So like I just don't have an answer for this one but I have tons of answers for all the other ones so it, it works. The next one is a book that you DNF'd and I have two answers for this one. So the first one is You by Caroline Kepnes. Uh, I tried to read this last October and I think I made it like 150 pages in and then I just put it down and never picked it back up and I never had a desire to pick it back up. Um, I just, I don't know, this book just didn't work for me at the time, and there's like a TV show coming out soon, so like, I could just watch that. Um, or I've heard really good things about the audiobook if I ever get the desire to reread this, so I, I just don't need this. The next one I'm gonna mention is A History of Loneliness by John Boyne. I actually did at this last month, and I'm not like totally put off by the author, but I just don't see myself ever actually going back and finishing this book, even though I like didn't hate it or anything and it, it, I can just use the space on my shelves. The next one is a book that you have multiple copies of and this is another one that I don't have an answer for because I actually rarely buy multiple editions of books unless they're like my favorite books. Um, so like I have two copies of The Book Thief, I have two copies of Pride and Prejudice, and then I have like my special like Japanese editions of books. Um, if you guys are interested in any of the international editions I own, I'll actually link that video down below. Um, but it's like, I paid a lot of money for those, I'm not just gonna get rid of them. <laughs> so, I don't have an answer for this one. Instead, I'm gonna get rid of two books that I want to get different covers for. Um, and that is Hamlet by William Shakespeare and the Stories from Shakespeare collection. Um, I got these when I was in high school, um, like from a secondhand store because I needed it because we studied Hamlet. Um, but there are so many beautiful editions of Shakespeare books, and these are old and gross looking, so like, I can just get prettier editions. The next one is a book you'll never actually get to. So the first one is The 16th of June by Maya Lang, and this one I bought off of Book Outlet, and the reason I bought this is because 
the premise is kind of like Death at a Funeral, if you've ever seen that movie, and I really like that movie, but like, I don't... I've had this for like two years, and I don't think I've ever thought about picking this up. So it's just, it, it, it has it other places. The next one is another book outlet book. Um, this is why I don't go on book outlet anymore, and that is The Aftermath by Reddy and Brooke. And this is actually a World War II uh, historical fiction book, and you guys know I do love World War II historical fiction, but again, this has sat on my shelves for like two years, and I've never looked at it more than once, probably. So I just, there's so many other books, historical fiction books that I'm interested in getting to, so I don't need this one. The next one is a book you picked up because of the hype, and um, this is The Haters by Jesse Andrews. I've had this since it first came out. I think I picked it up on release day because I enjoyed Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl so much, but I, I'm i never going to read this. I have no interest in reading this. don't think I've ever looked it up my shelves for like more than two seconds. I just, I don't, I don't need this. I'm not interested in this. The next one is a book you bought because of the cover, and I have two answers for this one as well. The first one is another book outlet book, and that is The Shore by Sarah Taylor. And the premise for this one actually is pretty interesting, and the author was nominated for the Bailey's Women's Prize for Fiction, but I, I just... I've had this on my shelf for two years, and I've never once picked it up. I guess if I'm interested I could always go back and rent it from the library again, but I, I don't feasibly see myself reading this, but I do really love that cover. And the other one I picked up because of the cover is All the Cricket Saints by Maggie Steve Otter. Honestly, I pre-ordered this um, because I was like, oh my gosh, that cover is so pretty, and it's Maggie Steve Otter, blah blah blah. Mm. Since this book has come out, Every review from someone I've trust has basically told me I'm not gonna like this book. I I know it. I know it with every fiber of my being that this book will not jive with me. I won't enjoy this book. And so I as beautiful and as stunning as this cover is, and the fact that I bought it off a book depository, it, it's no, it just doesn't need to be here. The next one is a book that you know nothing about, and for that I have Rebel Queen by Michelle Moran. I don't know anything about this. I think I saw this on a recommendation list years and years ago and it made me want to pick it up and so I did. I forgot I had this on my shelves so I think that's a surefire sign I don't need to have it. And the last category is a book you didn't buy and I have a couple for this as well. I have two arcs I got actually from a friend of mine. The first one is A Drop of Night by Stefan Bachman. This is another one that I, I don't know what this is. I don't even know what this is about. Uh, I'm sure I thought it was interesting at the time, but I'm never gonna read this. I also got from her an arc of Into the Dim by Janet B. Taylor. Um, very similar case. I, I've heard reviews from this from people who didn't love it, and I have since realized that time travel, not, not my thing. I don't really enjoy books about time travel, and that's what this is about, so I, every part of me tells me I'm probably not gonna enjoy this. So I'm, I'm just gonna, just gonna get rid of it. And the last one is a book called Girl Parts by John Cusick. This is actually a book I borrowed from a friend of mine probably eight years ago. And I've literally been holding on to it so I could give it back to her. And I keep not giving it back to her. So I, I just need to get rid of it. I think she even at one point told me like, you can just get rid of it. And I was like, no, I'm gonna give it back. But I'm just gonna get rid of it. Alrighty guys, so that is the book on haul challenge. Every time I get rid of books, I feel so much lighter. Because I'm like, look at all the space I have for the 20 books I buy every month that are sitting over there in an empty shelf staring at me going, put me in the shelves. That's what they sound like. Alrighty guys, I would love to know what is a book that you bought because of the hype? Because we all do that. Don't lie. Don't lie. We all do that. If you like what I do, upload videos on Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, and I'll see you guys soon with another one. Bye!